Hi, I'm Dr. Charles Schinever. Welcome to Fit Families TV. We're going to follow up with CogMed today. Ashley, who's a college student, completed CogMed, and I want to hear what the effects have been for her. Um, I've noticed since completing the program that um, I'm less anxious with like all of the things that I'm juggling in my final year of school. Um, I'm less anxious about getting things done and being places on time and um, that kind of stuff. Um, that's probably the most pronounced effect that I've noticed. Which is interesting because CogMed wasn't developed specifically to address anxiety. So how do you right. think it's helped you become less anxious? Well, I think when you sit down to the program, you have to really focus into that program for that. For me, it was about an hour every day. Um, and I noticed that in the beginning of my training, I wasn't doing that. I mean, you noticed too, because you helped coach me, um, that the times that I would take to do the whole program would be, you know, 40 minutes or something, because I was really just rushing through. What I realized is that since that when I'd sit down for Cognit, I'd have to really focus on that task and block out everything else and not be anxious about getting to the next thing or making, you know, the next deadline for my paper or an exam or something like that. So by practicing that in training, you know, trying to calm myself down to do one thing, that's kind of helped transfer into my everyday life where I've got a lot of things going on and I really just need to focus on one thing at a time, um, kind of like in CogMed, but in real life. Okay, so it, it helped you to, to focus on getting something done, kind of mm -hmm. lock down, focus and get it done, right. and then move on to the next thing. And that's how CogMed helped you to be less anxious. Mm -hmm. So help me to understand that part. So you're able to focus more. How does that translate to less anxiety for you? Well, if I'm if I've all if I always have these thoughts like floating around my head, a lot of things going on, and I'm anxious about those things, I'm I have anxiety, right? But if I can focus on one thing at a time and not think about all those other things, because I can be calm that I'm going to get those things done. I've got this schedule. I've got things planned out. I'm a big planner, type A personality. Um, if I can really just focus on one thing at a time, then those other things that are floating around aren't so chaotic. It's kind of like. They're sitting there on a shelf, and I'm going to get to the next, and I know that, so I can move on to the next thing. When that's done, take the next thing off the shelf, focus on that, cross it off the list when it's over, and really just kind of move down the line, sort of. Okay, so it's kind of like you get a little bit of a rhythm. You, you start, you focus, mm -hmm. you finish, you move on to the next thing. Right. And so <clears throat> doing Cognit helped you to focus, which allowed you to get stuff done. Mm -hmm. By doing that, you're less anxious because the distractions aren't kind of intruding on you. Right, I don't have any, like, back noise and, like, calm. <laughs> okay. Cool. So that was kind of a byproduct. We didn't really necessarily expect it would help you with that, but focusing helped you reduce it because you're able to get stuff done. Exactly. And well, one of my Cogmet goals was to um, be to pl be places on time. I normally really punctual, but I think that this year I'm just really frustrated and worried about getting everything done. That I was having a hard time getting places on time and making deadlines. That with Cogmet, because I can kind of relax after using Cogmet, I'm able to. I'm finding that I can relax about things. I'll have less anxiety about getting things done. That. Um, making it to, to like to meetings and classes on time, it's it's the same sort of story where I can I know I'm going to get it done. I just have to do it when I'm supposed to do it when it's on the you know my schedule. Go go get it done, kind of a thing. Okay, great. Yeah. So those are some effects from a, a college student who's finishing up her senior year and going to be applying to graduate school. And so what I would like you to do is, if you're interested in CogMed, please call me or email me, and I can give you some more information. But whether you're a senior in college or a freshman in high school. It's time to do something about this issue for your family and for your kids, and so give me a call. I'm Dr. Charles Schinever. Thanks.